All right, here we are again. Uh, we've had a few upgrades since the last time we've seen uh, my machine here. First up, most notably, see this gray? It's a nice little vacuum table. I uh, just have it hooked up to a shop vac. I designed a little grid on this. I can't really see the difference. Uh, but this bottom board is a low density fiber board. Uh, it had a melamine surfacing on it. It was got it from my Black & Decker storage bins. And it seems that it was low density, lots of airflow. I actually sealed around the edges with uh, some wood glue. Went around uh, a couple of times, let it dry and then put another coat on. Uh, the top and bottom are completely covered in, um, I believe it's melamine. Malamine, melamine, whatever you want to call it. So that uh, makes it nice and solid. And I cut a, a grid pattern in and, well, it follows the uh, the holes. Uh, three quarter inch uh, medium density fiber board, MDF. Uh, the holes cut in to match the grid. Now what I did here was I sunk down the surface the exact level of the acrylic plastic that I used for my computer builds. So everything's just nice and perfect and flush in there. Uh, with the vacuum table on and running, it's just running off a shop vac right now. But I put my pieces on, cover up the rest of the holes with either some other pieces of plastic or, or sorry, acrylic or just a plastic sheet, just to make so the section that we're cutting actually gets a lot of suction. Now it works really well. I did not expect it to work as good as it does, uh, especially running off a shop vac. But when it's running, things are sealed off. I cannot move this around very easily at all. So it's going to have no problem being held by and while it's getting cut by the router. Now, the other. Sorry here. Upgrade that I've done. This here little quiet cut spindle. So that's a new addition. And the nice thing about that, software controlled. So standard G codes, MO3, turn it on. So it's activated. Now set the speed 3000 RPM. Go up to the 1,000. Yes. Alright. 1,000. Push one up there. Now let's go to the max that this puppy can do. Um, the spindle itself is good for 12,000, but uh, Tiny G for some reason has a uh, limit of 10,000. So let's go to 10,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maximum speed. Nice and quiet, huh? You can barely hear. Now, it will obviously be louder when it's cutting, so we'll get that into a different video. Speed zero. Turn it off. M05. To turn the spindle off, PWM. Completely down. So we load up our program here. Run to execute the uh, program. That's 
just a little two minute job. I finished the wiring early this morning about 1 o'clock. I just wanted to get it hooked up and test it to make sure it goes. See the little clamp? Just gorilla tape on the uh, spindle. So i got to create myself an actual proper holder. This is good enough for now. Yeah, the hole is actually really solid. I was really impressed. A little bit of vibrations or buzzing going on. It's those extra T-nuts I've got sitting in there. Uh, one of these days soon, I'm going to disassemble my Z because I have uh, new bearings for that. I'm going to put those in, and I'm off by one degree level. So I want to tidy that up as well. get some drag chain for this. Just tidy it up. Make it look a lot nicer. And put it in all the way. Quickly pin the screen. on. It's quite a bit quieter even still. But uh, like I said, when I start cutting some actual material, it will be louder of course. Uh, I've got to wait for my new proper bits to come in. Because uh, the collet on this is obviously smaller than the, the rigid hand rudder I was using before. But yeah, all in all this should be a, a super upgrade. I'm quite happy so far. for his wood shop back home. And it's going to be a fair bit bigger than this one. He's looking at about uh, a meter, a meter and a half long on the Y by 750 to maybe a, a full meter on the X. So I might have to do some customizations to the overall design and build to make it more rigid. And he's going to be doing a lot more heavy wood, I suspect. So we might go with lead screws on his right away. Uh, lead screws is something that I am planning on building for this. They're just gonna go on the front here, stick up, and then go off to the sides there. I'm gonna slowly source the, uh, the pieces for that and get it together. I'm not in a huge hurry because uh, the stuff that I'm doing right now, just working on the acrylics and uh, soft stuff like that, uh, the belt system is more than sufficient for me. I haven't had any issues yet at all, so I may stick with that. And i got to clean up all these wires coming up and that. I'm going to redo it swap out this light for a couple of LED strips from Walmart. I saw them there for $30, so that'll be the next thing I suspect. Mm -hmm. so 
enjoyed the uh, quick little guided tour more to come as this beast evolves and gets even better in time thanks <laughs>